how you guys doing out there on YouTube? Well, tonight's video is going to be about uh, the Converse All Stars and the Nike Blazer. So, first off, guys, um, go ahead and uh, keep watching my videos, like them. Um, I'm going to bring you videos, like I said, on a daily basis, interesting ones, and I'd like to um, keep entertaining you guys. Um, also, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and watch them, like them, and enjoy them, okay, guys? So, first off, um, the Converse All Star was actually produced in 19, is actually introduced in 1917. Yeah, 1917. This shoe was pretty old, guys. <laughs> um, it was actually named after Charles H. Taylor in 1923. Uh, he was a pro basketball player and also worked for Converse. Uh, funny story is he came into Converse and said that he had sore feet, so he, t he actually started working on the shoes on the production line and had them geared to uh, basketball and basketball players. Um, now, um, so this was the actual basketball, or the basketball shoe for the, the, uh, the Olympic team for, uh, during the 1920s and 30s. And also, a fun fact about these Converse All-Stars, Wilt Chamberlain in 1962 scored 100 points 100 points in a game. Yeah, 100 points wearing a Converse All-Star. I don't know, maybe I might wear them if I can score 100 points. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Um, also, um, uh, a popular fact about this is that um, Converse, um, they stopped production of the shoe uh, during World War II to actually make um, s suits for the uh, soldiers during the war and then they resumed um, shoes right after the war and re went right back to uh, doing uh, basketball shoes again alright so uh, during the 1970s a famous basketball player um, was wearing them and that was was his uh, main shoe that he wore was the uh, Converse All-Stars that was uh, Julius Irving Dr. J himself he played for the 76ers, won a title with them, and he's just a famous basketball player. Uh, now, the Nike Blazer, it actually came out in 1973. Yes, and the, the basketball player that actually wore this um, shoe was uh, George Gervin, better known as the Iceman. <laughs> so, these shoes have been going to war since the 1970s guys <laughs> so if you had a choice guys what would you wear the converse all-star or the nike blazer you can't go wrong with either one of them i like them both actually what a shoe so this, this shoe right here is actually called the Dusty Peach, made out of suede. It's really nice. This, this, um, this Converse All-Star is the uh, Stars and Stripes version. Pretty nice, guys. Yeah, I like, I like both the shoes. So guys, uh, leave, a com leave some comments. Let me know which shoe, um, which shoe is better, the Converse All-Star or the Nike Blazer. Thank you, YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe to my uh, channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and watch my videos and enjoy them every day. Thank you so much, guys.